Welcome back to daytime. Our next guest says she's got 99 problems, but a meal ain't one. Priyanka Naik is a self-taught vegan chef and Food Network champion. She recently announced her first cookbook, The Modern Tiffin, is due out in November. And today she's joining us to share a recipe for sweet and spicy stuffed sweet potatoes. Hi, chef. Hi, how are you? Doing fantastic and excited to learn about this recipe because I've got one full-on vegan and a family leaning in. So how do we get started? I love that. So we are gonna make my sweet and spicy twice-baked sweet potatoes. So what we wanna do first is we wanna get our sweet potatoes baked, which I've already done here. So you bake them at 375 for about 45 minutes to one hour until it's fork tender. And then you just scoop out the flesh like so. So you have a shell that remains. And this is gonna be our vessel to basically house all of the deliciousness. So once we scoop out the flesh, we have this beautiful orange sweet potato right here. And we wanna flavor that up. So I love sweet potato because it's really high in vitamin A and potassium, and it's just delicious. So we're gonna add some green chilies. You can also use serrano chilies. These are Indian green chilies, which are very spicy and it helps balance the sweetness of the sweet potato. Then we're gonna add some fresh coriander or cilantro. We do call this coriander in India and a lot of East Asian countries. So we're gonna get some of that in. And we're gonna wanna add some cumin powder. This is gonna add some smokiness and flavor. And we also wanna add some vegan butter. Just get that right in. And some vegan cheese. I'm using Colby Jack shreds. You can use Mott's, you can use cheddar, basically whatever you like. And so we get that in, as well as some plant-based creamer, unsweetened dairy milk or creamer, just to bring it all together. Ooh, that looks so good. <laughs> it's not even finished yet and you're salivating. <laughs> that is so true. So we basically just wanna mix this and I actually, I love this dish because it's kind of a riff on a dish that is generally deemed as unhealthy, right? Like twice baked sweet potatoes, potato skins. You usually eat them as finger foods or like during games, um, but this is kind of my healthy take on it. And it has a lot of different textural components as well. So we get that mixed up and it's gonna be a little bit like wet-ish, mm, but we're gonna okay. bake it again. So this is a good texture because we don't want it to be too dry. So once we get this mixed, just get that aside. We basically want to use our sweet potato shell and scoop this mixture in. And you want to pile it high so that you can actually see it. Because, you know, we eat with our eyes first. So we want to make sure everything is beautiful. So get that right in. And you repeat that until all the shells are filled. Now, how long, Chef, do we bake it for after you get uh, the shells filled? Great question. We're gonna bake it at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes until the tops um, you could tell are a little bit dry and then we actually broil it for five minutes so we get a nice crust on top and we wanna make sure all the cheese is melted. Yeah, and what's, yeah, I was just gonna say, it, it's surprising how you can get vegan cheese to melt if you cook it the right way and it's so delicious. It really is. And you know, there are so many brands on the market now that like you can choose your favorites, you know, you don't have to just stick to one like before where we only had like one or two options. So um, I absolutely love it. And I think if you work with it properly, you can make really great use out of it. So we're going to take these, which I filled and we're going to get it into my preheated oven, which is at 350 and bake it for about 15 minutes. All right, and Chef, we're, we're running out of time, so I want to tell folks about your cookbook because I'm really excited. It's still coming out in November, right? Yeah, so my cookbook, which is coming out in November called The Modern Tiffin, is a vegan cookbook, and it's my first, so it's very exciting for me. It's a culmination of my heritage, which is first-generation Indian, as well as my travels. I've traveled to nearly 40 countries globally, and I've oh. learned about the cultures through food. So each chapter focuses on a different country that I've traveled to with a slight it. Indian twist to it because, of course, I'm Indian, so I like to weave in those elements. All right, Chef, and thank you so much. We, unfortunately, we have to wrap, but 
there they are. They look amazing, and I'm definitely getting the cookbook. Thanks, Chef. Thank you. All right, daytime. We'll be right back.